All right. The last couple of days we've talked about, there was a survey done in England, and it was for the saddest song. I think it was R.E.M.'s Everybody Hurts. And then we thought, all right, we'll give you our sad song. And then we thought, all right, how about our happy song? So we gave you our happy song. And then Paulie goes, well, you know, we tend to skew negative. So how about the most irritating song that you hear on the radio that makes you turn off the radio or change the channel? Todd, let me start with you. The most irritating song in your world on your ride home. Talking heads once in a lifetime, I find hugely oh irritating. God. Same as the Ripple Boys. You may find yourself living in a shotgun shack. And you may find yourself in another wow. part of the world. And you may find yourself behind the wheel of a large automobile. And you may find yourself in a beautiful house. With a beautiful the wife. chorus on here. You this guy's a genius. It's so annoying and weird. Here he goes. Oh my god. Uh, guess who I'm going to go see on Saturday on Broadway? David Burns' Utopia. Really? Yes. Yes, and I can't wait. I think he's a genius. All right, Seaton. Did I ever tell you about the time I almost ran David Byrne over with my car? <laughs> when we, we were doing the show in New York City and I used to drive in, I was driving home. And we used to, when you left our studio, you made like a left and yes. got, went a block or two and the West Side t- Highway was right there. I remember you telling me that. And I was, uh, the light was green and I was going to make a right on my green light. And there was a man walking his bike. He had a hat on, and he was like a Tamo kind of hat. Yeah. And he was walking uh, his bike, and I think that I either was driving too fast and stopped too close to him or something, but I definitely gave him a scare. And he looked up at me like, what the hell is wrong with you? And I was like, that's David Byrne. Oh, my God. <laughs> Can you imagine if I just ran him over? Then I wouldn't be watching, you know, Utopia on Broadway yeah. this weekend. True story. All right. Uh, the irritating song for you, Seton, is? Uh, well, I say yesterday, my, my one seed is of my least favorite song is Come On Eileen, right? I just can't stand that. No. But there's another one. I feel badly about this because the guys in this band are all very nice and they are super talented. Um, and I think this just has to do more with uh, some of the radio stations that I've worked at. Okay. But I cannot listen to this song. It's been one week since you looked at me. Cut your head to the side and said I'm angry. Five days since you laughed at me. You're saying, get back together, come back and see me. Three days since you looked at me. It's all about value. I can't. I cannot. Three days since you looked at me. Cut your head to the side and said I'm angry. Summon fish to the dish, although I like the shallow Swiss, I like the sushi because it's never touch a frying pan. I, I met these guys. They uh, they opened up for Hootie and the Blowfish when Hootie came back on their reunion tour. He, the lead singer could not have been a nicer they guy. Could not, I've met them several times. They could not be nicer yeah. people, and they're extremely talented. I, I wouldn't turn off that song. I've So I used to work at, like, top 40 radio stations or hot AC radio stations, and I saw them in concert at least twice a year. And at the I think time, it reminds you of some bad times in your life, maybe. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't even think about those. Uh, that's all long gone. Um, but man, it would be like every quarter hour you had at least one bare naked lady song mm. on because some about the timing and whatever. And it, it's been one. I've heard that song fifteen thousand times in my life. Uh, Marvin, the most irritating song in your life is. Man, people love this song, and I hate it. It was on my Do Not Playlist at my wedding. I would have killed my DJ <laughs> if he had played this song. Okay. Okay. Fritzy's actually singing the song. I, right I now. like Seaton's and I like Marvin's. I like those songs. Okay. Uh, That's a bold take on that one. Yeah. Paulie? This is like picking Michael Jordan as your favorite basketball player of all time. This is one of the most obvious ones, but it, I've hated the song since the day it came out. Okay. It was the number one song in the country for like a month. It was by a formerly great band, Jefferson Airplane. It's Jefferson Starship, We Built a City. We mm. built this city. Yeah. Yeah. It's a terrible song. We yeah. built this city. 
Yeah. Uh, you know, Jefferson Airplane, Jefferson Starship, Red Octopus is a great album, but this is not a good song. This is Michael Jordan on the Wizards. This is not even that. Yeah. Nothing actually this sums up 1985 better than this song. Um, it's Michael Jordan playing for the Birmingham Barons. <laughs> All right, Marv, uh, this is my song that I, I will change the channel immediately. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You just don't appreciate great songs. Uh. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Give it, yeah. <laughs> And it's a long introduction. They don't even get to the vocals forever. Got one of the greatest choruses of all time. Ugh. The union's been on strike. He's down on his luck. Yeah, I know. He's trying He's to be like too. Springsteen. So too. And then Todd always does the sound effects. <laughs> <laughs>